Well guys, uh, here we are, part two of the Nystrom uh, Ready Hook Coat Rack uh, Shelf Thingy. Uh, this is the installation video. In uh, part one of the series, you've seen us do the unboxing and the assembly. Since the filming of the unboxing video, my needs for this has changed. So what I've done is I've basically took off the top shelf piece, just making it into a um, hat rack, coat rack, whatever uh, need be. And uh, where I'm mounting it is going to be right above uh, the coat uh, hook themselves, up a little bit higher. Now um, kind of right around there. Now of course, uh, as you've seen the mounting points earlier, uh, they were the screws you put in the wall. Then they had um, little channels they slid into. Now a good way, um, the way to do it is to measure out and measure between your spaces to find your holes. Another way to do it is like I have here with push pins taped in the holes. You'll hold the um, item onto the wall, give it a bit of a tap, and then see as there it leaves behind two little uh, push pin holes. And that'll be where you want your screws, one being there and the other being here. And of course, yes, I did have a level on there, and she is level. So what we'll start by doing is uh, running our screws into the wall, and then we can do the mounting of the shelf itself. Okay, guys, so as you see here, I've drilled out the uh, anchor holes for those little plastic anchors in the wall here. And uh, what I've done is I've inserted the screws into the anchor holes. I just have to drive them on in and then we can do the mounting of the shelf right on them screws. So what I'll do is I'll drive them uh, screws in and then we can mount the shelf. Now of course when um, driving in screws in these plastic anchors you don't want to over tighten them for one. You don't want to drill your hole too big for two and three if you drive them in too far you can run the risk of splitting the little plastic anchor and you'll have to end up pulling them out which could make a huge mess and you know kind of a disaster so when running them in um, use a torque setting on your drill run them down I always do a quote a quarter of an inch or so sticking out or uh, three sixteenths or so and then um, you can kind of tighten them in from there so once you have your anchors in and your holes all drilled your screws in of course take off your uh, tape and your marking pins they, um, they do work wonders for people who don't uh, want to measure and uh, have issues with uh, holding it up there and guessing. So of course, uh, so of course we'll stick it up here on here and we'll see how well she uh, hangs, lines up and all that good stuff. So guys, there you go. She dropped right in there and she is uh, fairly tight toward the wall. I could give her a little bit of a tighten just to give it a bit more of a snugness. But I think I'm going to leave her right there, pretty much like that. Um, you know, be aware of your surroundings and uh, what clearance you, you need to have. You know, if I would have mounted that over a bit, the shelf wouldn't have worked for certain on there. But um, as she is right now, she will work the uh, way she is. Good enough to hang a few hats on or a few things like that. So this has been an install of a nice drum uh, ready hook uh, coat rack shelf uh, thingy. So as always, thanks for watching Maxwell's World. Comment, subscribe, and enjoy.